when you come here and you step into wide open spaces and the idea of an adult playground yeah. being on a ranch we were like, okay, this is this yeah. is fun. This is where people can come and just um, be a kid again and get on an e-bike and jump yeah. in the pool and jump in the sauna and make it their own, mm -hmm. take their boots off or pull a pair of boots on yeah. and sort of taps into that kind of urban cowboy thing too, yeah. which is always a bit of fun. I'm Julia Ashwood. I'm Jamie Blakey. And we are the co-creators and co-founders at Sun Ranch. Welcome to Sun Ranch. Sun Ranch is situated in the Byron Shire. We're about 15 minutes from the centre of town. It's in an area called Cooper's Chute, which is predominantly a hilly, beautiful, leafy, green area. Cooper's Chute is also part of the Bundjalung region, just like the Byron Shire. And um, we're surrounded by beautiful creek system here. You'll see wallabies out nibbling on the grass in the morning, glass, cockatoos, platypus. We're so lucky to be in a beautiful space and it feels very private and really quite sacred here. We sort of designed the property in a way that there were spaces which sprawled across the 55 acres. So obviously we're surrounded by a creek, we have a dam here, the horse paddocks take over a large percentage of the acreage. But then we've got a field house here with an Argentinian barbecue, an outdoor area and, a, and this gorgeous little 70s design of the yeah. bricks. Up the very top is a beautiful um, ceremony circle. Uh, and then we've got obviously the long house, which was really inspired by those 70s mm. ranch houses. And then I think the cherry on top is those gorgeous barns that we have up the top, which are all two bedrooms um, with, with a view over this central monolithic pool, which we <laughs> just kept on getting bigger and bigger during yeah, the yeah. design process. Yeah. When we first found this place, we, we kind of always reflect back to those early concept stages and it was really this slight sunken lounge that kind of inspired the whole kind of design of the place and also that kind of the footprint of the old family home that's got, like, it's so representative of like the ranch houses of the 70s and California. Yeah, and there was a, certainly a sense of celebration and music in these walls already. Yeah. Um, when we came in, it was covered in cream carpet and lace curtains and guitars on the wall. Yeah. You could you could just feel it when you mm. when you walked onto the space that there there had been this already these joy in mm. the walls in the in the land and we went right okay we'll dip into that we're gonna create something which really works on those areas of celebration. We almost did a fun test of every space. Mm -hmm. We walked into every space and like, is this fun enough? You know, yeah. does this make us feel fantastic? Does it make us feel energetic? And that's sort of a lot of um, how we bounced off, yeah. you know, colours and materials and things to create those spaces to make them feel like, oh, we're stepping into a new dimension. You wouldn't normally be in a space like this. It's, it's obviously a commercial space, it's a hotel. You don't have to live with it. So let's do something different and vibrant. I think it was important to us to work with a product like Fisher & Bakel, which is not only luxury, but really easy to use mm. because we were using them in guest spaces. And obviously we have a lot of staff that come through here that needs to be turned over at quick speeds mm -hmm. and um, manageable for anyone to be able to, to use. Yeah. No, I've always loved the integrated drawers purely because you can use any joinery you, you want really. Like we've used the recycled oak, our mate, Magic Axe. He did all our joinery here, so he's a bit of a master at using a recycled product back with all the integrated mm. Fisher & Paykel stuff. Mm. I love the way that Magic Axe did the fold back doors, which created that really butler's style approach to yeah, the without, cowboy bar. Without chucking it all. Yeah, so when the service is finished, we push back those doors, mm. everything comes out and you're like, oh, oh wow, yeah. that's all behind there. But it can be just completely locked yeah. away. We had all these different influences that all kind of contradicted each other from old school Hollywood glamour through the ranch houses, all the Tarantino movies that we kind of incorporated to bring the drama and all the theatre into the place that kind of sets us apart from anywhere else. 
I think I see Hollywood when I walk into those pool suites. Totally. As well. It's the finishings of the brass with the beautiful linens. Yeah. The big king size bed yeah. with the Carl Otter and G linens and the hand painted, yeah. you know, bed heads. Yeah. And then Lana's gorgeous bespoke yeah. lights. It's all these sort of trims that come together to make you feel really luxurious. And then the whiskey lounge, which we went for really vibrant colours. Yeah. You, know, you flow on through to the cowboy bar. And I don't know, we're always really drawn to the cowboy yeah. bar ourselves, like a knockoff drink. And then there's, there's so much outdoor area and we put all the vintage games out for everyone mm -hmm. to get involved with. Not to mention the wood-fired cedar sauna yeah. and the ice bath, the little wellness areas. Yeah, what am I missing? The pool club. Oh, yeah. The 25 metre <clears throat> mineral pool on the hill. <laughs> we were kind of advised, like, to put it down near the house, put the big pool down near the house, and everyone can come down here. But we were really set on having this pool up, set into the side of the hill with this big, beautiful vista looking northeast, looking over all the hinterlands. And then the other thing we did was the bleachers. So, you know, when you go to a hotel and then you gotta race down, get your sun lounge, there's never enough sun lounges. We, we love that relaxed vibe of like bleacher style. Messier the better, cows everywhere, yep. everyone's talking, catching up. Yep. It's just more of a community vibe than having your own private little sun lounge, you yep. know? I think we're definitely drawn to designer hotels and that's um, what we wanted to create here too. Yeah. It's a destination where you can sort of let down your hair and put your boots on and put a cowboy hat on, but also you've got all these incredible luxury touch points. Yeah. Which is, you know, from Fisher and Paykel through to the Artidomus tiles and, yeah. you know, Porter's paints and all the beautiful trims and finishes mm -hmm. that we pulled together here. I think you get to experience this escapism in luxury. Mm -hmm. Um, but it has the laid-back luxury of the ranch tones, which makes it even more fun. Yeah.